Hi, I'm John, G4ABQ, co-founder of STR Play, and I want to tell you a bit about our exciting new product, the RSP2. The RSP1 has established itself over the last year or two, and you can hear it going in the background, as a perfect general coverage receiver for uh, people returning to ham radio, people wanting to explore uh, aircraft bands and any signals from long wave up to 2 gigahertz. And um, over that time I've also uh, heard the need for some features that uh, were missing in the original uh, RSP1 and so we have launched the RSP2 which is a very similar looking beast but you'll notice uh, has a few extra ports on it. So let me talk through some of the uh, key features of the RSP2. First of all, it's got 10 built-in front-end pre-selection filters and substantially enhanced selectivity. We've extended the frequency coverage down to 1 kilohertz. We've got a software-selectable variable gain load-noise amplifier. On the RSP1, the LNA is either on or off. With the RSP2, there's nine different levels of uh, gain which are automatically uh, selected uh, when the AGC is enabled. We've got, you'll notice, two uh, 50 ohm ports which cover from 1.5 megs up to 2 gigahertz, as well as um, a separate. Uh, low frequency port which goes down to 1 kilohertz and up to 30 megahertz and that has its own special uh, adapter plug here that's uh, provided with the RSP2. Um, <clears throat> we've built in uh, notch filters to, that are again software selectable to eliminate the strongest interferers that can cause problems with intermod and alien uh, uh, signals appearing, and that uh, that 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 that's uh, both for medium wave and FM VHF uh, interferers. There's a highly stable 0.5 ppm TCXO, but it's trimmable down to 0 0.01 ppm using our SDR Uno software, and then it stays with the device. You'll notice on the other side a couple of uh, couple of ports here. This allows you to synchronise multiple RSP2s together. There's a clock in, clock out. So this reference clock in can also be connected to, um, uh, for example, a GPS reference clock if you want even more uh, absolute uh, frequency accuracy. One of the two ports has um, a bias T option which will provide 4.7 volts of DC to go up the centre of the coax to power a remote uh, antenna amplifier. And we've also included uh, RF screening within the plastic metal box, which is something that uh, some people wanted, uh, particularly in a lab environment if you're exposed to very high UHF signals that can get through that kind of dimension. You I should remind everybody you still need to think about adding uh, ferrites to the USB cable to make sure that um, you don't uh, pick up uh, stray RF into the device. So there's a whole bunch of features like that. I encourage you to look on, on the website, look at our um, data sheet to find out more. And I'd also like to stress the um, improvements that are happening all the time for both RSP1 owners and RSP2 owners with our RS, um, with our SDR Uno. Uh, the latest version, currently 1.11, uh, um, has some real cool new features. For example, we've got a calibrated S meter and we've also got uh, an absolute RF power meter included, which um, opens up a lot of uh, additional applications. We hope the RSP2 will be very useful for uh, new innovative uh, applications, particularly with the, uh, some of the sub-gigahertz IoT activity. Um, it should prov provide uh, 
a very useful uh, and exciting experience to all our customers. So once again, thanks for all the support to the community out there that does so much to support on the Facebook group run by uh, Mike and Paul and also on our own uh, community where uh, many of you are there to help newcomers to this exciting new world of SDR.